Welcome to connecting and using your Bluetooth headphones. Before we connect these headphones to any device, we have to get them ready to connect. So pull out a headphone and press the button two times. One, two. Now it's flashing, which means it is ready to connect with the device of my choice. So how about we try to connect it to a Mac? To connect the headphones to a Mac, click on the Bluetooth icon and go down to Bluetooth Preferences. Now I will see the headphones in my Bluetooth Preferences and I click Connect. Now one of my headphones is connected. It is recommended that you only use one headphone piece at a time. That way you can listen to your classroom as well as who is online with you. Notice that there are two different headphones. One is for the left to connect and one is for the right. Let's connect the headphones to a PC. After I press the button two times, I click on the Windows icon and go to the settings. Once I'm here, I'm going to click on Devices, since this is a Bluetooth device to add. Click on the plus sign. And choose Bluetooth. It will automatically pick up the headphone set. Click on it. And now it is connecting to the Bluetooth headphones. Click done when you are finished. I'm going to check to make sure that my sound settings are correct. So I'm going to go back down here to sound settings. And notice that the headphones are my default sound output device, which is really what I want. Now that my PC is ready to go, I need to make sure my Google Meet is ready to go. And I would do this regardless if I'm using a Mac or a PC. I click on the settings and I'm going to check the sound settings. My sound settings here show that I'm going to be using my headphone set, my Bluetooth headphone set for both my speaker and my microphone, which is what I want. So if I'm ready to join a meet or if I'm already in a meet, I am ready to go. So when would I use these headphones? I would use them for small group instruction because we want to do a lot of small group instruction. So when I have a group of students working with me, I don't want everybody else to hear them. Also in breakout rooms so I can hear my students and they all don't need to be hearing each other. And for independent work time when I've got students that are working on assignments that don't need to be hearing what other students are saying. Thank you for watching.